In mathematics, a group G is called the direct sum of two subgroups H1 and H2 if each H1 and H2 are normal subgroups of G. The subgroups H1 and H2 have trivial intersection, and G equals less than H1, H2 greater than. In other words, G is generated by the subgroups H1 and H2. More generally, G is called the direct sum of a finite set of subgroups. Hi, if each hi is a normal subgroup of G, each hi has trivial intersection with the subgroup less than HJ. J not equal to I greater than, and G equals less than, higher greater than, in other words, G is generated by the subgroups, hi, if G is the direct sum of subgroups H and K, then we write G equals H plus K, if G is the direct sum of a set of subgroups, hi, we often write G equals hi, loosely speaking, a direct sum is isomorphic to a weak direct product of subgroups. In abstract algebra, this method of construction can be generalized to direct sums of vector spaces, modules, and other structures. See the article Direct Sum of Modules for more information. This notation is commutative, so that in the case of the direct sum of two subgroups, G equals H plus K equals K plus H. It is also associative in the sense that if G equals H plus K and K equals L plus M, then G equals H plus equals H plus L plus M. A group which can be expressed as a direct sum of non-trivial subgroups is called decomposable, otherwise it is called indecomposable. If G equals H plus K, then it can be proven that, for all H in H, K in K, we have that H asterisk K equals K asterisk H. For all G in G, there exists unique H in H, K in K such that G equals H asterisk K. There is a cancellation of the sum in a quotient, so that, K is isomorphic to H. The above assertions can be generalized to the case of G equals hi, where, hi, is a finite set of subgroups. If i j, then for all hi and hi, h j and h j, we have that hi asterisk h j equals h j asterisk hi. For each g and g, their unique set of hi and hi, such that, g equals h1 asterisk h2 asterisk, asterisk hi asterisk. Asterisk H and there is a cancellation of the sum in a quotient, so that plus K, K is isomorphic to high. Note the similarity with the direct product where each G can be expressed uniquely as G equals since high asterisk H J equals H J asterisk high for all I J. It follows that multiplication of elements in a direct sum is isomorphic to multiplication of the corresponding elements in the direct product, thus, for finite sets of subgroups, high is isomorphic to the direct product times high direct sum and given a group. We say that a subgroup is a direct sum and of if and only if there exist another subgroup such that is the direct sum of the subgroups and in abelian groups. If is a divisible subgroup of then is a direct sum and if. Examples. If we take it is clear that is the direct product of the subgroups. If is a divisible subgroup of an abelian group, then there exists another subgroup such that, if is also a vector space then can be written as a direct sum of an another subspace that will be isomorphic to the quotient. Equivalence of decompositions into direct sums in the decomposition of a finite group into a direct sum of indecomposable subgroups, the embedding of the subgroups is not unique. For example, in the Klein group, V4 equals C2 times C2, we have that V4 equals less than greater than plus less than greater than and V4 equals less than greater than plus less than greater than. However, it is the content of the remake Kroll-Schmidt theorem that given a finite group G equals I equals BJ, 
where each i and each bj is non-trivial and indecomposable, the two sums have equal terms up to reordering an isomorphism. The remay krull theorem fails for infinite groups, so in the case of infinite g equals h plus k equals l plus m, even when all subgroups are non-trivial and indecomposable, we cannot then assume that h is isomorphic to either l or m. Generalization to sums over infinite sets to describe the above properties in the case where G is the direct sum of an infinite set of subgroups, more care is needed. If G is an element of the Cartesian product, higher of a set of groups, let G be the ith element of G in the product. The external direct sum of a set of groups, higher is the subset of higher, where, for each element G of E, high, G is the identity for all but a finite number of G. The group operation in the external direct sum is pointwise multiplication, as in the usual direct product. This subset does indeed form a group, and for a finite set of groups high, the external direct sum is identical to the direct product. If g equals high, then g is isomorphic to e high. Thus, in a sense, the direct sum is an internal, external direct sum. For each element g and g, there is a unique finite set s and unique high and high i and s, such that g equals high i and s.